the study. Although Darwin's ghost wanders around here, I think about a woman called Maria Sibylla Marion, one of the great botanists and adventuresses and natural philosophers of the 1700s. Continuing with an exploration of our delicate relationship with the natural world in Museo do Profundo Mundo, the study considers the overlapping domains of the scientist and the artist and the role of the individual as both an active and a passive participant in shaping the world we live in. A stuffed chair, a cabinet desk, books encased in plaster and plastic seem to exist somewhere between sculpture and artifact. I appropriate scientific means of observing, collecting, and categorizing objects using poetic inspiration and awry meditation on the marriage of science and art and on the fragile balance between the natural and man-made worlds. 